It should come as no surprise to us how interconnected our lives all are. Some issues merely flag it up that much more. So I'll be discussing the mega city confusion, part one, and that's Keke Exit. This is the first in a series aimed at examining the growth of Lagos as a mega city. I wondered for quite a bit what had happened to the buses and boats that were the legacy of former governor Ambody. I know he was being hounded for apparently over invoicing the state for the buses. Then I heard some of those people gleefully reporting that their government had arranged a revolutionary overhaul of water transport with those same boats that had been presented to us at a lecture by the managing director of LASWA, a lecture I personally organized in 2018. Now this was part of the reason this government felt that it was okay now to ban Okada and Keke without adequate notice or preparation. So am I expected to take a boat from Falomo to Obalende or what, especially at peak travel time? They say that Okada trade is not long-term, tailoring and brick lane are. They say deaths and injuries from Okada and Keke outnumber all else, be they on trained Okada or those owned by corporate transporters. This is patently untrue and inaccurate. The corporate transporters collectively have a fantastic record. They say that terrorists and criminals use these means of transport more so than any other. And they say a modern mega city should not have these contraptions around. What hoppycock. There's far more crime on the internet and WhatsApp. When will those be banned? How many car drivers in Lagos are suitably licensed? How many Lagosians know who has the right of way at a roundabout? How much is spent on car repairs from collisions with others? Remember that car body parts are imported and a drain on our economy. How many last mile patrol cars are in good body shape? None. These are the enforcing officers, by the way. How many car drivers have killed and maimed Okada riders? How many government bus drivers have caused harm to others on the road? Lagos has character, good or bad, but one nonetheless. Any growth study must absorb and abstract those qualities to make our own authentic city. Keke, Okada are not the problem. It is their regulation, that is. That puts the blame on the Ministry of Transportation and the governor, Samuel. They are failing and clutching at straws. The mega city concept is greatly misunderstood. Quit talking about Dubai. This is Lagos, Nigeria. I shall continue next week. I like mm. your tattoo like your... reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, um, let's pace ourselves on this one. You see, um, I, I also will continue with you next week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because this morning, coming to the island, I look at the number of vehicles all coming to the island today alone, and then I look at the number of people in this vehicles and I tell myself why is it that nobody's thinking everybody comes to Lagos Island Victoria Island Ikoyi daily in the evening these places are empty they all go back why are we not thinking of creating mass housing for low-income earners around these places that will be affordable yeah. with that also you take away a lot of cars that would have to drive in. Mm -hmm. And then you can now make VI zone one and say, look, you conjecture, charge these places. Mm -hmm. But no, we won't. Uh, Fashola wanted to build a library. And said, no, you can't build low cost housing, you know, uh, close to the waterways. It's only for expensive and uh, high earning people. You know, all of these are ways to solve yeah. a mega yeah. city yeah. problem. And, and so with that, you don't need to drive from Alakuko, Alakbado, um, uh, whatever. How also, we've been discussing Fort Milan Bridge. In 2003, Tinubu said we should imagine Fort Milan Bridge between Badore and uh, Ikorodu. Do you know that if you are traveling from Ikorodu to Victoria Island or to Aja, you will have to still come all the way to Todd Milan Bridge? Meanwhile, you can stand in Ikorodu and you're seeing Badore right Badore in front of you. Yeah. These are ways you build mega cities. Mm -hmm. But like I say, because there is a lapse and there are no jobs, and then you also see Keke giving as 
a youth empowerment. That's what they called it. Yeah. Okada giving us youth empowerment. And, and so you encourage these things. And so people hop onto the next available means of transportation. I mean, yes, I mean, in as much as we want to blame our government, we also need to take some responsibility. Because if you look at some of the newspaper uh, clips from a year ago, just as little as a year ago, the same people who are lambasting government were lambasting them a year ago. You just go and check it out. And they're like, you don't care about us. That's why you're not enforcing this ban and you're letting people terrorize us. And now again, they say, you don't care about us. That's why you're taking away. Our so we need to get our, okay. our head fixed okay. on. And I'm coming now. So I'm basically saying that we also need to send the signal to them. I like the way Libros mm -hmm. is thinking outside the box. Uh, and that, because I had said to myself, why would anybody spend most of their stressful time commuting if they can find somewhere here to rent for a weekly, so, do your job, and then you go so, where so, we can. So the thing is this. I think it just goes back to the lack of planning. And so we end up creating an environment of insecurity where people take advantages and yeah, opportun absolutely. opportunistic yeah. um, uh, uh, factors arise. Mm -hmm. Look, since 2008, correct me if I'm wrong, we've been trying to build a light rail. Yes. Ethiopia built theirs in two years. Yeah. It's been... Well, how many years now? Yeah. Going on how many years? We cannot even build a railway line. No, nine years. Nine China, China years has a lot to of link nine years. between like two, mile two, mile mile two and uh, two, 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 yeah, two, yeah. Yeah. two. Oh, Lagos yeah. Island. Marina, yeah. So I mean, um, Twelve years. we see the population. We build the roads. We see the population movement. We're not doing uh, so when people Let's say mega city, mega roads. city, and that's why I agree with you. There is no mega thinking. Yeah. Yes, that matches the mega. On the other yeah. hand, to match yeah. the mega city. It is mega thinking that can use yeah. mega so city. So you, you just mount it. Oh, we're going to do Lagos is a mega city. Meanwhile, you have. No, but then to, to, to be There's sympathetic no, to those that I can sympathize with no, let you. Let me give you some you, information. We pay taxes, we're the, here. The former, what what am I sympathizing with? Commissioner of Transportation, his own, and I think I've said this before, let me just repeat it though. He says that, look, it's, it's almost impossible with the funding they have. And as long as people keep coming into Lagos, which you can't stop to match the demands of a mega city. He you know said that when, he went Dubai to, every day. Coming, when he went to London, he found that his number two equivalent was able to get every, any, any amount they put down. Um, the, the system would match it by 40%. Here, the, the federal the government are ignoring thinking, Lagos, whereas Lagos thinking, is the we'll match Shebi, we said, let's go to Lagos, we'll go so that we'll have federal and Lagos will... will yeah, exactly. Go. Is it happening? There's no thinking. The problem is thinking. You can think out solutions. People are coming. Mm -hmm. you, you also say that um, Lagos is a port city, so people are coming. What about the federal government saying, let's create more ports in other places, let's right. push them so that population will go to those places. Yeah. So you, you. You, if you focus only on Lagos, yeah. people will come well, you know here because the opportunities are, are here. The that it's that simple. As I speak, as I yeah. speak to yeah. you, yeah. it's simple. Like this it will like be that. my topic next week. As I speak to like you, I go to Apapa every week. I can't drive to Apapa. I take a ferry to Apapa, and then I'll have to take a bike where I'm going to no, because can't I can't get a anymore. bus yeah, to, that to that place. Yeah, to that place yeah. Now I will have to trek from um, what Wolf you call it, Flamin, yeah. all the way to Warehouse Road. Yeah. And then that's your, uh, what do you call it, port hub. That's the seaway into Nigeria. Right. Yes. Yeah. You have two major ports in Apapa yeah. and it is not accessible. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody needs to think. Yes. Not even oh. inside the box well, now. Are we talking as if we don't know yes. that there are people frustrating even those who want to think? Sorry, Sandra, you must say something. Well, really, I, I think we have all said everything I would, I would have loved to say because, um, I mean, looking at mega cities, talking about um, Dubai is far reaching, even. Who is talking about Dubai? Let's I mean, he's closely. <laughs> he, he mentioned Dubai. Yeah. Somebody. So, yeah. talking no, about Dubai is yeah. far reaching. Yeah. Oh. Look at Abuja, which is closest to us. Yeah. Let's look at the policies that have been put in place in Abuja and then, you know, match it down to Lagos. Yes. Are we really ready for this kind of no, move? We're not. It's just we don't even want to. Right? We don't want to deal with consequences of our failures. So how do we get ready? Basis. Because that's we, what we're doing. What are we advocating? The way for? we can get ready, I already said it. Simple. Think I don't. Simple. No, no. The thinking. Let's do the thinking for mm. them. Yes. Would they listen to us the, if we don't think it for them? In Oniru, yeah. in Oniru, for example, we are building a what do you call it? A, uh, a co Atlantic city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take Oniru for example. Do you know in one acre of land, you can build conveniently 10, 25-story buildings, mm -hmm. low costs. Mm -hmm. And do you know the number of cars you would have taken off the road that walk ah, in no VI? Small. Mm -hmm. In that place. Yeah. You go to, even in Victoria Island, there are some areas you can still replicate this same Can housing. Help them when you do, plan this. When you no, do no, all no, of no. this, you also take away the pressure from your roads. Yes, yes. of course. 
by solving yeah. housing problems, people yeah. won't be complaining that how do I get to work? So when you are doing all of those planning, you also plan the routes, yeah. buses. So the light rail, Dubai, they don't, they barely have underground train, but they all build their tra train on surface. And, and if you know yes. the number of visitors they attend daily, yeah. look, this is not. So that's why you say numbers of people numbers. coming. I'm like, yeah, what yes. number? What numbers? Yeah, you're exactly. selling what houses numbers? as if you are selling two bars of yam. Yeah, uh, and then you expect uh, to solve problems. How many what? millions of people go to Paris on a daily basis? I wonder. So what numbers? London. People mention yeah. numbers as if it's yeah, it's something. What it's numbers. an excuse. Uh, we're, we're not able to match the numbers with resources yeah. and infrastructure. That's the challenge for us. We don't want to. We're not, we're not in a position to do it as, as we, we are today. That's the challenge. Well, we are. We are. We well, are. problem okay. solving is often about fresh perspectives. We trust you've taken away more than a few angles from which to consider the many issues that demand our attention. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Now, to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. So until next week, when we'll be serving up a fresh buffet of topics, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize.